Shalom. First and foremost, call Loyum, Wakaba, La Yahawa, Bashim, Yahushar, Bashim, Arachat Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great Muslim who were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the old four like tabernacle of David that is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And I just wanted to do a lesson responding or lambacking from uh, this lesson that the elder apostle Gabar did entitled, I have bought a piece of property, have me excused. And uh, this was a reply to yeah, the head brother, the elder brother, Kuarta Zaba, out of Baltimore camp, in which, uh, you know, he was going into these different individuals who have, you know, since, uh, you know, being kicked out of the fold or departing from the fold, a lot of them, uh, you know, they lost the oil, you know, they leave begin to wither. You know, it got dried and, and uh, you know, it, 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 it drizzled out. You know, you start to see them for a minute, you know, and really they were just out there for, you know, preaching Yahweh Shai for strife and contention. You know, it was the pride that wouldn't let allow them to admit or uh, acknowledge that the spirit was no longer with them. So they tried, you know, they continued to try to go out there. And, uh, you know, attack the doctrine, you know, come up against the men that taught them, you know, only for them to eventually, you know, fade to black. You no longer see a few of these dudes out there anymore. All right. Some of them that's still out there, they're just bugged out, waxing worse and worse. All right. And that's what happens when the Lord withdraw his spirit from you. That's why it's very important to pray that the Lord take not his Holy Spirit from you. And that's uh, what King David uh, pray, prayed for. Psalms uh, 51st chapter, around the 11th and 12th verse. Okay? And it takes humility, you know? You don't want to get beside yourself. You don't want to fall into the condemnation of the devil as you see the men you see uh, on the screen. All right, these dudes was all lifted up with pride, and they all fell into the condemnation of the devil. And this is the latest example, this guy here. All right, you're going to see him wax worse and worse. And it never fails. That's the pattern in every guy who leaves and don't continue to, you know, just uh, teach the word. You know, take the low, remain humble. So anyway, I just want to, uh, you know, add unto the lesson that the elder apostle did, like it says in uh, Sirach, the 21st chapter, when a... Uh, um, a skillful man hears a wise, wise word, he will, he will commend it and add unto it. All right. And, um, you know, certain scriptures that he brought out and some of the terms that he looked up, you know, it inspired me to actually, you know, bring out some more uh, scriptures that pertains to what the elder apostle was bringing out. Or you know, like he went into the word withered, you know, Yahweh Shai talked about the, the, the tree. All right, that's uh, not bringing any fruit. All that's going to happen is it's going gonna, it's gonna to wither. If the Lord didn't uh, bless it, if it's not a part of the branch of Yahweh Shai, the Lord's going to make sure that that tree withers. It's going to dry and, and, and shrivel up. It's not going to live long. And that's, uh, you know, the Lord using that analogy or, or parable to represent dudes who the Lord did not plant. Uh, let's get uh Matthew 15 this is what he told those um those Pharisees. Let's go to uh, Matthew 15 real quick. This is uh Matthew 15, and I'm gonna jump down to verse 12, and it says, Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended? After they heard this saying, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. All right. This is what he told his disciples after he said what he said to the Pharisees. You just offended the Pharisees. Well, it was appointed for them to get offended because the Lord did not plant them. So when guys come around and they get offended at whatever, that's because the Lord didn't really plant them. 
They went out from, from among us because they were not of us. Or else, if they were of us, they would have continued with us. And they would continue what? In the doctrine. The doctrine that they learned. The scriptures talk about that. All right, Apostle Paul said, you have to know. Um, let, me, let me see if I can find it. But you're supposed to continue in the doctrine that you learned. And also to be assured of who you who you learned them from. These men, they all were uh, taught and, and came up under the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Let me see if I can find it. Second uh, Timothy, is it three and fourteen? Yeah, Second Timothy three verse fourteen. It says, "But continue down the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom." Thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right, and you know, once you've grown up from a child, you know, you you know, took in that that milk, the basics, and then you, you know, you you grew in it. That's where the foundation comes in. All right, and you're able to handle more uh of the deeper mysteries and understandings of of the bible of the scriptures you start to mature and you become experienced all right and and therefore them spiritual forces out there them seducing spirits don't work on you you can see right through it you can see the error you have this you have that unction that gives you that insight like it says in first john the ones who leave from us because they've been deceived or they've been seduced by a seducing spirit by another doctrine of the devil they've been beguiled by um you know a, 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 a false philosophy or whatever is because they didn't have the spirit the lord took that spirit from them meaning what that they was not planted so they didn't fall on good ground it's uh first john 2 19 it says they went out from us but they were not of us or if they had been of us they would no doubt have continued with us and they didn't continue why because they weren't they didn't have any deep root all right so they was easily uh uprooted removed it says but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us but ye have an unction from the holy one all right that that um uh, charisma which is basically um an ointment of the Holy Spirit. Okay. And you know all things. So that means that now because you know all things in the spirit and power of Yahweh Yahushai, you know these scriptures, all right, making you wise in the salvation. You know what's right and what's wrong. You have that discernment. You know who's going off and who isn't. Right? It says, I have not written unto you because you know not the truth. But because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. So you already know. Let's go to our first John. Was that four and uh, five? Four, four and six? In yeah, first John four and uh, six, it says, We are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that, it, he that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Let me get the... Uh, NLT translation, it says, but we belong to the Most High, and those who know the Most High listen to us. The Lord, here, he, um, he said, my sheep hear my voice, and they follow me, right? If they do not belong to the Most High, they do not listen to us. And if, and if you started off by listening to us, and you, you know, were with us, but then something, you know, a, a offense or a doctrine that offends you or you don't uh, like, you stop listening to us, right? That is how we know if someone has the spirit of truth or the spirit of deception, okay? So, going back to what the Lord said, all right? If, if, if you're not one of those plants that the Lord planted, you're going to be rooted up, all right? And now, now let's go to... Uh, the Apocrypha real fast. I want to go to a Wisdom of Solomon, the fourth chapter. 
because that's what a lot of these guys that end up falling out. That's what this is what they have in common. All right, is in in the Lord use parables to describe these different type of dudes. Usually, it can be, you know, in a form of a, you know, Satan, the devil, a seducing spirit, you know, taking away what is sown in your heart. All right, you listening to uh, these uh, false teachers out there, you know, a seducing spirit planting those uh, corrupt seeds in your mind. You having a, a itching ears? If you got itching ears and you just want to keep teachers to yourselves, you know, teaching you the things that you want to hear, you don't have a foundation. That's those guys that that wander to and fro, watching this camp, that camp, this camp. You know, and you start to get ideas from these other guys, or you listening to scoffers. The scoffers are even putting ideas in your head. Well, that means that you had no foundation. You're not deeply uh, rooted. Are we supposed to abide in Yahweh Shai? If you don't abide in Yahweh Shai, then you have no uh, solid ground. And Satan can have his way with you, man. Because Yahweh Shai has his fruit guarded. His vineyard, his, his, his garden is, is guarded. Okay? It talks about that, how he, uh, the, the grape of his cluster, he made them perfect. Okay? You cannot pluck them out of his hand. So let's uh get this in Wisdom of Solomon, the fourth chapter. And it says, I'm going to start at the top. Well, actually, no. Let me jump down to um, verse 3. It says, But the multiplying brood of the ungodly shall not thrive, nor take rooting from bastard slips, nor lay any fast foundation. In other words, no matter how many children comes out of a um, a forbidden union, nothing to come out of it. All right, they're basically because they're Ill illegitimate uh, children. All right, and and if if the Lord didn't plant you, that means the devil did. And if the devil planted you, you're a, you're illegitimate. All right, you're basically you're a, you're a counterfeit. Okay. And even the Lord, you know, he talks about that in his parable of, um, you know, you got the uh, the sheep and the goats, you got the tares and the wheats. Well, in a spiritual sense, we know that the tares represent the phony Israelites, fall, you know, false brethren, guys who, who who crept in unawares, but they but they the spirit ended up exposing them. Dudes that came in and and and, and fell out, they left. Because of, you know, maybe something of this world, you know, the Lord talked about uh, those falling upon uh, stony ground, that they got offended, you know, and, 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 you know, they couldn't face the tribulation or the temptation, and they left, you know, they fell out, they had, they had, had an excuse to leave, or they fell, they fell upon um, thorns, you know the, the the cares of this life and the riches of this world they 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 choke the word and became useless in the ministry start to fizzle out and go back into the world just you know various different examples or like the example that the apostle was uh re re responding to when well, you had this guy from uh detroit i forget dude's name i used to we used to call him the arabic mac 10. all right the Detroit egghead. He 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 made an excuse as to why we didn't see him making any videos. He said he went out to go buy land, and he said that's something that y'all wouldn't know anything about. You know, like oh you y'all bums, y'all y'all don't y'all don't have it like that. Y'all wouldn't know nothing about that. Well, nigga, you that's because you <laughs> you're back in the world, and you 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 want to get comfortable. He was definitely not ready for Esau's uh, kingdom to end at all. And then they start to uh, teach a doctrine where, and it was him and uh, this this clown here, uh, Nazariah. They were teaching that uh, Jeremiah 16 and uh, 14 on down wasn't talking about our deliverance from America. All right. And that was bringing up, uh, you know, viewpoints like, 
they wanted America to continue. Like as if America is just not going to be destroyed. And that we got it so good here and it's much worse in third world countries, this and that and the third. So you could tell just by what they were teaching and their conduct and how, you know, they were losing that fire. These dudes were literally withering away. Their countenance was changing. And it all started to show, man. And who knows where these guys are at now, but they're completely back in that world. Completely. Some of these dudes is as if they've never been in it. But the Lord, if they're still alive, if there's if they ain't went back to the spiritual realm yet, the Lord's just preserving them to be punished. They're gonna be destroyed. They're gonna have to give an account. They're gonna be beaten with many stripes. So they withered away only so that later they could be burned up. And that's what's going to happen. All right. The Lord said, I will appoint you with the unbelievers for there shall be weeping and, and uh, wailing and gnashing of teeth. So going back to uh, the verse, it says, but the multiplying brood of the ungodly shall not thrive nor take deep rooting from bastard slips nor lay any fast foundation so it's going to be easy for you to, to to fall away right for though they flourish in branches for a time you know they they do it for a period of time yet standing not last you know because everything that they heard or learned it wasn't mixed with faith when they heard it they shall be shaken with the wind all right like i said those you know some of these guys they allow certain uh, seeds to be planted in their mind and they get shaken up by it. Whether it be a hard saying, something that they found offensive from uh, what the elder apostles may have said or taught because they couldn't receive it because it was too much meat. And they get shaken up or, you know, they listen to these other guys out there and they're getting influenced. And they and, and they lose the faith. Now, all of a sudden, uh, you know, Marshall is not King David. Abu Bivens is not uh, Elijah. I never believed any of these things. Well, yeah, you're showing that you never, you know, you never had uh, full faith. You know? Now, what else are you going to start changing? It says, and through the force of winds, they shall be rooted out. All right, you're going to be basically... Uh, Remove like like trash when you drive past a uh, 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 trash on a freeway on on the side of the road, and that wind that 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 uh you know forces uh, leaves and and uh, potato chip bags and uh, uh, burger wrappers that be on the side of the freeway is it, it get the flying up and flying away when you drive past it. Well, that's that's these dudes that don't have that solid foundation that's now uh, deeply rooted. They get moved by offenses, uh, uh, you know, poisonous uh, uh, seeds planted in their heads, seducing spirits, false teachers, false uh, pro other false prophets. And that's how it happens, man. It says the imperfect branches shall be broken off, their fruit unprofitable, not ripe to eat, yeah, meat for nothing. All right, and that's why the Lord said what he said in uh, John, was it John 15? Yeah, John 15 and um, Yeah, John 15 in verse um, 5, it says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. As long as you abide in Yahweh Shai and in his doctrine, you will bring forth much fruit. All right? you Because you're, you're being an asset to the Lord's church. You're being productive. The Lord will increase you. If you abide in him and you remain faithful in what, what you were taught. 
all right, and endure. For without me, you can do nothing. The Yahweh Shai is, you know, this is his, you know. The Lord said, occupy till I come. So without him, we can't do anything, but he already gave us the, the earnest of the spirit. And that's what's uh, leading us to, to continue to produce, starting with our elder apostles on down. It says, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. And that's the, that's the fate of um, all the tares. The wheats are going to be gathered into the Lord's uh, barn, but the tares are going to be gathered for the, for the fire. And that's what's going to happen to all, all the wicked niggas who came in among us. Okay? And, you know, these same men who that happened to, you know, they were all part of the council of the ungodly. All right, they was, uh, you know, like especially these two. And then you had other dudes among them. Uh, even, you know, you had that guy Element. He was a, a part of that council. They were switching up all the different doctrines and coming against uh, the, the, uh, the established teachings of the church, remixing everything. What the scriptures say, and this was a, a psalm of uh, David. This is uh, Psalms 1 and 1. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. And that's what they all became. These were a council of ungodly men switching the doctrine up, uh, putting all type of, basically coming up with all type of heresies. You know, it was heavy apostasy going on. All right. Um, nor standing from the way of sinners, nor sitting from the seat of the scornful. A lot of a lot of scorning was going on, right? But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. You're gonna always have that moisture. Because you stand by the water, which is this word. All right. This word is your hydration. And Yahweh Shai said, He that believe on me, as the scripture I have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay. It says, His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. All right, and these are, you know, these were ungodly men. That's why they were removed. All right. They had a form of godliness in the beginning. You know, they, they played the part. They looked good. They sounded good. But eventually their true uh, spirit showed. All right, the Lord, you know, searched different men out with candles. All right, now you look up that word chaff. It, it says chaff, the husk of corn or other seed separated by winnowing or threshing, you know, like a separation. It says uh, chopped hay and straw used as fodder, worthless things, trash, refuse, waste, garbage. All right, you're basically that 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 salt that lost its uh, savor. All right, you're basically good for nothing. Litter, debris, scrap, dross, sweepings, leavings. You know, I'll mention that. You drive by on the freeway and you see that trash on the side, them leaves and them uh, uh, hot Cheeto bags. It's, it, that's basically what chaff is, man. Okay. So if that's what you are, your end is to be, you know, swept away and then eventually burned. All right, it says, therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. All right, the Lord's going to separate them. They're not going to be a part of 
the congregation of the righteous. That's why they, they get removed. That's why they no longer continue with us because they're not of us. Okay? So, you know, that's what happens, man. You separate these dudes. All right, cast them out. Get them, get them up out of there. All right, now let me get a... Because I think there's another scripture that's, that that's, that comes to mind. It's, it escaped me, but now it's coming back. Um, yeah, uh, Colossians. You know, the Colossians 2 and start like around 7. I'm actually starting at 6. It says, I start at 5. It says, for though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order. And the steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach. All right, standing firm, all right, for, for, for Yahweh Shai. All right, teaching them, teaching them bold, without fear. Having no shame of, of, of the gospel, of the testimony of, of Yahweh Shai. As you have therefore received Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, the Lord, so walk ye in him. All right, because going back to John 15, if you don't abide in him, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be cast forth as a branch and you're going to wither. Okay. It says rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving. Are you, you know, growing? It says beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. And that's that that's a form of um, force winds. You, know, you being easily moved by these type of individuals or these type of things, you know, you being moved by the force of, of winds. All right. And you're not, that means you're not, your faith isn't uh, established. It says, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after a Mashiach. All right. And when you look into that word rudiments, it's talking about basically, uh, you know, sp spiritual forces of this world. This uh, NLT, it says, don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Mashiach. And that's why um, Paul said in his uh, letter to uh, the Church of Corinth, the second epistle, he basically said that, you know, he was jealous over the church with, with a godly jealousy to, to espouse you to one husband, that he may present them uh, as a chaste virgin to uh, Yahweh Shai, where he feared lest any, by any means that the serpent, how the serpent beguiled Eve through his uh, subtility, that, you know, their minds would be corrupted from the simplicity in Yahweh Shai, you know, because here it is, you know, you in a church and, you know, you're uh, purely devoted to Yahweh Shai, but then somebody coming to, to, to teach a whole nother doctrine to you, all right, or, or, or try to fill your mind with, with uh, uh, wicked ideas to turn you away from the doctrine or turn you away from the faith. That's, that's just like uh, Eve being beguiled by the serpent. You're supposed to be eating from one tree, but this demon comes over here and seduces you to start coming to eat from an eat from another tree. You know, and that and that's how it can happen. And a person coming to preach a whole nother uh, doctrine. That's an ex that, that's an example of what he meant by for he that cometh preaching another uh, Jesus, whom you have ha whom we have not preached. Or if you receive another spirit, you know, basically they was um, they were basically uh accepting people that was uh, teaching different doctrines, people coming with in another spirit, or coming with another doctrine. It was like they was uh, you know, uh, bearing with it, you know, like accepting these people. Paul was basically trying to, you know, hey, you know. Stay deeply rooted, stay grounded. Okay. Yeah, these other 
uh, false apostles out there, guys that's perpetrating, they might be able to speak good, but you don't want to be deceived. Because these guys, they serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai, but their own belly and through good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. So you got to be careful. He said, though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. But I know what I'm talking about. Because the spirit of the Lord supped with uh, Paul. The Lord taught the uh, taught Apostle Paul directly in the Holy Spirit. So he knew what he was talking about. All right, so uh, reading here, let me get uh, the NIV. It says, <clears throat> see to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on Hamashiach. And that's what we're up against. Our, um, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. There's a lot of a lot of demons that are working over time to try to, you know, sabotage the ministry. They're coming up, coming up against the doctrine. You know, guys like Vocab and these different uh Christians, you know, so on and so forth. These black unconscious dudes all coming up against the the doctrine. All right, some of them are low-level demons. They're easy to deal with, and some of them got high-level demons on them. See? A whole panel of demons trying to, uh, you know, throw it off the will of, of Yah Bashim Yah Shai, but you can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. And your, your, your only job is to work on the minds of those who the Lord did not plant. You're going to help to get them out of there. Not the men who are deeply rooted and grounded in the faith. And some of these guys were the ones who <laughs> they, they Satan worked worked on them and got them up out of there, man. Whether they, you know, out there teaching, but they teaching a bugged out doctrine and they're not increasing, the only fruit that they got is the 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 is the uh <laughs> well they don't even have fruit, they just got fruit flies. All right, that are you know lingering around them, the scoffers and the scorners that 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 don't like us, and they just coming around and commending them for coming against us. If that if the fruit flies is your fruit, then that, that's that's how you know. All right, so you know, and this is what we gotta pray for and hope that you know we're part of that foundation, man. Okay, so uh, you know that's pretty much the lesson. I just want to uh, bring these scriptures out. It's just uh, adding to uh, the Elder Apostle Gabar's uh, lesson. All right, so uh, you know that's pretty much it. Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shai. To the next lesson, Shalom.